G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So this is my humble abode at night. It's quite nice looking. I, I, I enjoy my house. I made it the way I like it. Um, so I was actually meant to do a video today with somebody or about some, something, which it might be in a video during the week, but basically the guy screwed me around. I've just spent two and a half hours waiting for him to reply to me. I drove halfway to his house while I was on my way he said he has to leave for a minute and then um, I waited two and a half hours and at this point I've decided to give up on waiting for him but it actually turned out all right it, it, there's a positive from this I just thought oh I might do a nighttime video on the koi pond because I don't think I've ever really done that on the channel I don't know if the camera's focusing very well on my face there but I came out and there was a koi that had jumped out of the pond and I think I just saved its life by coming out here. Um, but what are the chances of me coming out here at night? So anyway, I'll show you the koi and then I'll show you the pond. Alright guys, so this is my koi pond at night. It kind of feels like cinematic at night. It doesn't it doesn't feel real, even in person. Like looking at it, it doesn't doesn't. It seems too nice for my backyard. Um, I'll show you the koi that jumped out. It's actually just down there. That that one there. It was um. It's not a hundred percent happy, but it should be all right. I just can't believe what are the chances of me actually coming out here. It was just on the ground just here. Um, but anyway, let's have a little chat about the pond. So if anybody who hasn't seen this pond before, it's six meters across by 3.6 meters. I don't, can't remember what size my pond is, guys. I think it's 3.6 meters that way. The OG oh. members can probably tell me if I'm right or wrong. I know some of you remember things better than me. Um, uh, it's got two viewing windows. The viewing windows are six foot by one and a half foot, I think. Maybe just over. I think that's like 500 millimeters. Um, this is actually 19 millimeter glass. It's just clear float. There's no laminated glass or anything like that. Just standard clear float glass. I, it was actually quite cheap. I got it wholesale. I don't know what, who the dogs... What is it? What is it? Is it another, is it a neighbor's dog? I'll be back guys. I'm gonna figure out what the dog's looking for. There's a chance it's our turtle. All right, guys, I can't f find what he's looking for. I even looked over the fence. There's nothing on the other side of the fence. Um, there is a turtle somewhere around here um, in the vicinity of my whole backyard, um, but I don't know where it is. I know it's still alive because I would be able to smell it if it died. Um, I'm, I'm like 60% sure that's what he's sniffing out because I'm pretty sure it's under there. He, he keeps on getting out of the pond. Um, if anybody's got an idea to make a turtle trap, send me a message because I need to try to catch my turtle. Um, but anyway, uh, koi pond. This is it. Uh, at night, it looks beautiful. The koi, they're not. They're they're slowly coming up. I've woke them up. They were having a nap. Um, so. I've got two lights, that up there, that's a 30 watt floodlight, and I think that one's a 50 watt floodlight, and um, I don't know if you can really tell in the video, but it lights this place up like daylight, like you can see how lit up the um, elephant ear is, so that elephant ear is is really that big, it's not fake, um, That so I'm not even joking when I'm telling you that used to be a tiny little cutting. That used to be like a few pieces this size. So this was actually one of the cuttings. And this one hasn't grown because it's just in a pot. 
but that's what that came from a cutting a couple of cuttings that size um it's insane that's ba that's basically my filtration for my koi pond is the plant um there is media in the filter but i think at this stage the elephant ear is what's keeping the water clean um it runs completely on air there is no mechanical filters in there in here if you look there's like some pipes there that that that's actually um air lifts and they go six foot down below the the level of that water there um it's actually probably more than that that see that green barrel there that's actually two green barrels welded together i think there, it's about close to two meters long into the ground um and then it's two ibcs as the filters um, there's a surface skimmer, there's two bottom drains, um, and it keeps it clean. Um, I think I've, I've done it, I, I don't, did I build that filter on the channel? OG's comment below, let me know. Or did I build that filter before I started my YouTube channel? I'm not really sure. There, there is one pump in there, it's a little 3000 DC, DC, DCS 3000 or something the little DC controlled pumps and that runs these two elephants I've got to stop putting my finger in front so these two elephants run on a 3000 litre pump the pumps turned all the way down at pretty much I think it's running on 20% and there's actually a manifold that I made for it and there's actually provisions to run a um a um, aquaponics down the side and the aquaponics will actually run off this water I just have never got around to buying the clay beads because I can't afford it um, that's literally the only reason is because of how expensive they are um, I kind of want to look here's one of my baby koi I only got this the other day um, to, oh I didn't tell you the depth so the, the sides is four foot deep and then in the middle there see that drain there that is five foot deep so it might not look very clear on camera but those leaves I'm in the light see those leaves that's five foot down so five foot from the surface and you can see the leaves on the bottom I think that's a pretty good pretty good going um, I'm happy with that, the clarity of it it does have like a fair bit of tannins in it um, I probably could get the tannins down if I like um, clean this the skimmer basket and that a bit more often also like this dead elephant ear falls in but I'm not too fast about the tannins they can stay in there all the koi is hiding in this corner for some reason they're pretty smart they know what time's meal time and what time's not meal time. I could try to give them a bit of food. I don't think they'd go for it, but see if they go for it. No. This one will. Ready? No. Usually that's the most boisterous one. Well, here we go. Come on. I've got four Kahaku in there, but they're my favourite. But I can't even show you because they're not hanging around. Oh, they're starting to think about it. And this is this the one down there. That's just a big random girl that I got for free when I first set the pond up to cycle it with, and then she's sort of just hung around. She's not pretty, but she's one of the originals, so I keep her. She actually looks better on camera than she does in person. You can't really on the camera you can see the red quite well, but in person you can't see that red as much. Where are the kahaku? Look, see, this is Mr. Personality here. He'll get everyone going. There's one of the Kahaku.
They're my favourite. There's four of them. I can see there's one there, there's one there. There should be four. Yeah, there's one there and one there. One there, one there. One there, one there. They're cool. I love my koi guys. I know I don't really talk about them on the channel, but these guys are my pets. Um, I, I, I've got no desire to breed these, and I think anybody who's a breeder, when you've got fish that you don't have the desire to breed, it changes your relationship with them, I reckon. And um, I wouldn't say it's a better relationship, because I really love breeding, but um, people come over and they're like oh yeah they're fish because I'm a fish person but like to try tell them that these aren't fish to me in a way these are my pets um, it's definitely hard for people to understand how to differentiate that to me like these have absolutely nothing to do with any of my other fish um, it's kind of like the goldfish as well now they're my pets uh, I really want to put a flower horn in my house maybe Richard one day because I really want a pet flower horn at the moment my flower horns they're not pets it's kind of a bit of a random analogy I hope this one turns out real nice see that like champagne gold base that real little one there's a few little ones in there um, there's one I can't remember what they're called they're like the grey the white base with like the, the metallic grey I think they're, they're, they're actually quite a sort after colour you don't see many of them so I'm hoping to grow it out and it looks nice I can't actually see it tonight but yeah, sometimes I buy little ones and uh, it's over there I can see it you won't be able to see it on the camera oh yeah see that little Oh no, that's a reflection of the pipe. It's just there. There's about, I think there's five little ones in there. This is definitely the most active, hangs out with all the big ones. I find it so interesting with koi that you can put the smallest koi with the biggest koi and they don't kill them bizarre and they're growing super fast there's the no, there's the gray one and the only problem is if you look at it now it's starting to get it's got it looks a bit patchy hopefully the gray like ev it's evens out on it as it gets bigger there's two red and black ones somewhere I don't know the names of them literally the only koi I know is kahaku and is that like Wrote, uh, it's uh, O-R's organ, organ or something, the orange one. I don't know any of the others. Doesn't like Jinrin mean the copper, the, the metallic coming through the scales? I don't know. I'm not looking to learn too much about Koi guys. Like I said, they're just my pets. Where's that one that jumped out? Oh, it's over there. Still kicking butt. That was so lucky, guys. I owe that to the guy that screwed me around, don't I? He's happy as Larry. So that, obviously, that is a huge risk I run. Um, having a pond with no edges that is fill almost to the top like the biggest risk is them jumping out and um, I'm actually surprised that one jumped out I haven't had one on the ground for a good probably 12 months touch wood um, so if I b stop barking dog Jack come here come on so I find if I buy koi over 30 centimeters and put them in here they've got a high chance of jumping but if I buy 20 centimeter ones and put them in there and grow them out, they don't seem to jump for some reason. Um, 
yeah i've never had one under 30 centimeters jump like that one that just jumped out today that's probably bang on 30 centimeters um that's probably the smallest one i've ever found outside um uh, i've lost about five to jumping and they've all been 45 to 50 centimeters like they were the, all, always the biggest ones that jumped and they were always when i first got them like yeah it's bizarre I guess because the bigger ones are not used to moving around as much maybe or something. I don't know. There's got to be some sort of science behind it or um, maybe there's a koi fish um, behavioralist that knows why. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap that one up there. It's getting pretty late. It's past my bedtime. Um, hopefully we get the new fish tomorrow. Uh, it's a really exciting fish. No, it, it, it's a bit of a troll fish. Um, I am, I, I've been getting into buying trolling fish. Like the goldfish was just meant to be a bit of a troll slash what my missus wanted, and now I love them. <laughs> so you never know. I might get the fish that I'm meant to be getting, and they turn out to be a fish that I love as well. Um, there is one reason I want to get the fish I'm going to get tomorrow, and that's because they take a really nice photo with a DSLR when they're in breeding dress. So my plan is to get my DSLR out and try and get like the best photo of the breeding dress that I can. So I actually do have a plan for the fish that I'm getting tomorrow. Um, I haven't worked on the two foot tanks. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know whether that's going to be this week because um, I am working really long hours at work. So it might just stuff up my plans for the two foots, but I'll try to fit them in. I, I, I need to find some stainless steel cable and then we'll get stuck into it. So hopefully this week, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of the koi, let me know. If you want to learn more about the filtration, I'm happy to do some detailed videos on that. Just let me know in the comments, guys. If you're not subscribed, can you please hit the little red button? It helps out. Um, I've seen a spike in subscribers in the last week. Hopefully we can keep that roll going. Peace out, guys.